Google Fit is a great app available on Galaxy Watch. And in this video, we'll explore it to track steps and workout. So, let's get started. Let's open it the first time on this Galaxy Watch 6. The setup requires a few permissions. Choose your Google account and then follow the steps. We need to allow the notifications and then our precise location, then the physical activity, and lastly the sensor data permission because Google Fit can record our heart rate as well. Then is your profile. I already have a Fit account so my details are pre-filled. Google Fit has heart points and we'll talk about them soon. We need to set a daily goal from here. Then here's the main interface. Scroll down to see all the options. So the idea behind heart points is that you get points for working out. For walking we get 1 point per minute and for more intense workouts we get 2 points per minute. These points are built considering the 150 minutes of minimum weekly activity to be fit. So it has a daily and weekly points goal. Also if you notice we haven't walked or done any exercise but the calories display 1600. That's because Google Fit counts your regular energy which is also called your basal metabolic rate. This is an estimation of what you do in your everyday life. So this number is combined with your workout calories as well as your BMR. Let's go for a walk. If you want to track a workout, tap workout and then choose one. We can set a goal from this screen. I'll set a step goal. Then tap this to start it. Now as you work out you'll notice information on the screen. During a workout Google Fit constantly checks your heart rate. Swipe left to see it on the top. Because we have set a goal, we see a circle. As you do exercise, it will progress. Also, if you tap this number, Google Fit will show different stats. Let's end this workout. When you do, you will see workout details. This includes heart points, steps, time and other things. Down the bottom is the heart rate data during the workout. So this was tracking exercise. But the app automatically counts your walking steps and heart points. So if walking is the only exercise you do, then you don't need to start the workout. However, Google Fit does not check your heart rate automatically, so you will be missing out on that. After the workout, we see the updated goals below. We can see and measure our heart rate in the app. The heart rate section has your past data. We can record a new entry by clicking measure. It also shows your today's lowest and highest rate. Google Fit also supports tiles. Swipe left on the main screen and hold down onto a tile. Then add a new tile from here. It has a few tiles to help you achieve your goals. Let's add a basic step and heart point one. Great. Then we get the watch face. Hold down here and swipe up to see the face provided by Google Fit. In the end we'll see how to sync Google Fit on mobile with the watch. Ensure you have the app set up. In this journal tab you'll find this sync with watch icon. Tap on it. It will take a few seconds to sync and load the data. Once completed, we'll see the sync data. If your data is not syncing, go to your profile and click settings. Here, find and tap settings for other devices. Ensure that the watch is listed. If not, either the account is different or the data is not saved on the cloud yet. We can see all the data including the map. Go to home to see the heart rate for the day. So this was Google Fit on Galaxy Watch tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. Catch you next time. Take care.